What's up everybody, do right back at it again with another video on Zero Hour. Today we're going to be showing off the before and after animations, but before we get into that, let's talk about the new mechanics that were added to this update because I had no idea that these were actually going to be here. Disclaimer! All of these mechanics and all of these animations are still a work in progress, so I just want to keep that in mind before we push on. The first one that we're going to be starting off with is a new little feature called Join Ongoing Matches. So before, the way that this used to work is that you would just click on Quick Match and it would actually put you into a match of 5 versus 5, but saying is how the game doesn't have a whole lot of players these days now it's trying to just put you into a match that's already going on that has a decent amount of players basically what this is supposed to do is solve the issue of those lopsided matches because when there was a lot of players there used to be a lot of like one versus five but this should fix that issue in theory moving on to another feature that was added in so instead of using one utility now you are able to use two and in order for you to switch between them you have to click on three and four and g to plant or throw this also allows players to use mvgs while also still having a throwable pretty neat before we move on to the next mechanic let's go ahead and talk about the mvgs for a little bit because they actually changed up the way that it looks so in the previous iteration it just straight up looked like underwater goggles that were like really bright and kind of annoying but with update 4 it actually looks more like mvgs and there's even a little animation where you can see the mvgs come onto your face so that's a neat little change there along with the mvgs comes an ir laser sight that's pretty much attached to every single weapon except for the mac 10 and I believe both pistols. Yeah, I pretty much tested it on every weapon and as far as I can tell, I can't seem to actually put my weapon in the regular position when I have the MVGs on. So if you decide to put on MVGs, just be aware that you can't put your weapon back in the regular position. But almost every weapon has freaking an IR laser sight, so I don't think it's that big of a deal to be honest. And it seems pretty accurate too. But if you have a weapon with a scope on or some sort of hollow sight, then the laser will show up outside of MVGs in the scope or hollow sight because you just like turns it on at the last second i guess pushing on to the next mechanic here so with this update you will now be able to kick open doors and also shoot off the locks i think that the kicking mechanic is really cool but the shooting off the lock mechanic with the shotgun feels kind of pointless like i feel like that would only work if the door was actually locked because as far as i know all the doors that are featured in zero hour you can just open them by pressing f unless they have a wedge on them there are no locked doors in zero hour like until they actually add locked doors then it's kind of pointless till they add locked doors. But yeah, getting back to the door kicking mechanic, one thing that I want to mention about it is that depending on the way that the door faces, like if it's a door that opens outwards, then you won't be able to kick it open. It'll only kick open if the door is going inwards. So just fair warning when you decide to kick a door open. So let's talk a little bit about the movement system. The previous movement system was janky. Like it felt like your character was trying to move around, but he was struggling. Like he was like trying to push on or something. We had animations just didn't look that good the moment felt very jaded looked very jaded and very clunky but now with the update it definitely looks a lot better than the previous one the weapons actually move like they have weight the way that you can switch back and forth with them actually looks you know pretty good i'm just impressed by the way that they actually made these moving animations look i thought it was going to be a lot worse than where it was going to be but i was honestly stunned and shocked to see how good it looks but enough about movement let's talk a little bit about the new mechanics that were just added to the weapons so now there is a fast reload load and a regular reload along with checking how much ammo or how many mags you have you do a regular reload by pressing r do a fast reload by double tapping r to look at your mag count you hold h and then let go of it and he puts it back in the weapon it's possible to reload a mag that you've already emptied so be aware of that because when you do the regular reload it saves the mag and puts it back into your back pocket so if you run out of ammo on that mag then it's probably best just to do a fast reload to drop that mag another thing that i want to mention about this is that in the previous iteration the game used to automatically reload the rifle for you now the game will not do that you have to reload it yourself pretty neat so unless i'm mistaken i believe that's all of the mechanics that were added a couple of things to note before we get into the animations when you're playing in co-op the bad guys now actually talk you can hear them like having side conversations left and right. I don't know what the hell they're saying because they're speaking Bangladesh, I believe, or maybe a different language, I don't know, but they're actually talking now. And I think their speech is actually pretty believable. So yeah, another thing of note is that there's a little animation when you actually repel up buildings. Like before it was just like, it just kind of like snapped on, but now you see like the arm fling up and fling outwards when you get onto the next ledge or something. So that's pretty neat. Another mention is that they added in a brand new AK variant, the K9, I think that's what you call it. K night assault rifle i think that it actually looks pretty cool but um it could definitely use some work in my opinion like when you shoot it there is a 
bunch of sway. Like, I don't get what it is with the freaking sway in this game is. There really doesn't need to be that much sway, guys. Also, the sound is a bit off, and I think the where it fires is, like, on the inside of the AK just a little there. Like, it's not on the barrel there. It's on the inside of that. The AK just needs a little work, you know? Like, it's still kind of brand new. Aside from that, they need to fix a couple of things, like the SR-62. Like, when you double tap to fast reload, like, it looks like it's about to do the regular reload, but then it snaps to the fast reload. Like, that animation needs to be fixed. See that? Like, you see his hand, like, going towards, like, the regular reload, and then it snaps to the fast reload. Like, that input needs to be delayed just a little bit. I could say the same thing for the deagle. Yeah, like, it acts like it's about to go to a regular reload with the first tap, but the second tap comes in and it snaps towards the fast reload. So, yeah, there definitely is a bunch of things that still need to be worked out here. But, uh, yeah. Another thing that I want to mention is that there is new sounds that are being added to the weapons that are completely different from the previous ones. They are still a work in progress, but, yeah, let's Let's go ahead and get into the animations, I'll also include the sound.
And that was the animations. What are your thoughts? Were they good? Were they bad? Let me know down below, because I'm going to end it here. If you're someone that enjoys the fact that I cover games like Zero Hour, then be sure to like the video, share the video, and comment down below. If you're someone that would like to support the channel, check out my Patreon. Just send two bucks a month. It really helps. If you're someone that's new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and ding the bell. You never know. You might find something that you like on the channel. I cover a lot of tactical games. And with that all being said, I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch, and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.